hello everyone welcome back today in this video i will explain that how you can display dynamic bootstrap alert using jquery i am using laravel 8 and i, I am going to implement this uh, by using ajax okay i already um, make a, uh, made a tutorial about how you can add uh, dynamic uh, messages uh, without uh, page refresh okay actually it's a tutorial about how you can add uh, uh, data using ajax by using bootstrap model in a data tables okay i uh, implemented the whole crud where you can create a book uh, also and edit a book and delete book as well as okay and if you don't know about how you can add uh, uh, this functionality this crud functionality using uh, bootstrap model by using ajax so i will add uh, mm, please must watch my tutorial i will add the link in the description okay and if you uh, already watched the tutorial let's move to the next step okay now we are going to implement uh, this uh, uh, functionality we are going to implement this in a two way first uh, we are going to implement this in our local file and then we are mm, then we are going to move to the next global file okay and then i will explain that what is the advantage of local and global file okay let's move to the example okay and uh, this is the example uh, i am on the stack overflow and let's copy this uh, function okay oh sorry i opened the wrong page okay let's go to the let's go to the end of the file and i'm declaring this function there and i'm naming this uh, alert success okay it's a success alert and this is uh, alerts and uh, i'm going to actually replace this uh, content okay i want to display the bootstrap alert okay let's replace with the bootstrap alert copy from the clause and edit there and uh, let's uh, replace with this one okay and also remove this button okay and add the uh, you add your own button okay let's paste this and it's throwing error because of this dot okay this space okay and uh, yeah now this is added and now you, we need to call this function okay our function is declared i'm calling this uh, here uh, for testing okay it's a uh, alert uh, success and here we need to pass a message we are passing this a parameter and this should be received there okay i'm passing this uh, uh, success uh, alert is enabled uh, okay <laughs> now so my spelling is not correct because i'm typing uh, typing very quickly okay this is our alert success and now we need to add uh, this id okay we will display this message uh, according to this id if we want to display uh, okay i want to display this uh, message at the top of the heading this heading okay this is a laravel 8 crud and we have a laravel 8 crud and i am going to create a id here then id is going to this alerts okay and i def uh, uh, I'm calling this alert uh, there okay this and this uh, everything is append to this ID okay let's test this and refresh it and if there is uh, yeah it's working okay it's working and now we are hard-coded this value how you can pass this uh, uh, from your actions okay uh, I'm cut this uh, uh, calling function and now I want to display it when our book is created okay this is a save saving function where we are saving the book okay this is a success if the success is uh, uh, yeah it's a uh, success equal to true we want to display this uh, function okay and I want to pass this parameter like book added successfully okay uh, book added uh, successfully now it will display that if our book is created it will display the book is added successfully okay let's ms add and author is Dayat Niyasi it's my name <laughs> okay let's save this one and yeah your message have been sent successfully book added successfully it's uh, displaying twice message because uh, I forgot to remove uh, 
the existing um, <laughs> existing message from the button okay let's remove this one and test it again it will display only book added successfully message so let's add it and ms word and blah 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 and save this changes and it will yeah now it says that book added successfully okay uh, you can uh, also define other functions like uh, if i want to display a danger alert uh, i want to uh, name this like uh, alert danger you can name any which you want and this is a danger functionality and let's copy this and i'm going to uh, call this function when our book is deleted okay and uh, book is uh, deleted oh it's not spelling correctly okay let's refresh it and test it again and hopefully it's going to work let me delete this highly updated uh, when i'm going to delete this and yeah it now displaying the dynamic uh, value that book is deleted okay that's good and now i want to when i delete this book and click on ok it's added the alert at the top but user don't know about that the alert is added at the top or not okay so we want to scroll the user when the alert is displayed at the top we want to display the user to the top okay so you can go to the this uh, uh, scroll to top function uh, okay let's copy this and add this in your function when your function is called okay after executing appending this file okay you want to call this function you want to add this in the both file okay let's save this one and refresh it and test it again okay so i'm uh, i am at the end of the file uh, yeah and now i'm going to click okay when i press okay it will uh, delete the book and display the message and also uh, scroll uh, to the top now it's uh, at the bottom of the page okay let's okay and yeah it's uh, scroll us to the top and the message is displayed and book is also deleted everything is working perfectly okay this is the localization we declare the function in our file and we are calling this function in our file okay so uh, if our app is very huge and uh, there is a lot of functions a lot of files and uh, we want to declare them in each file okay and calling them from this file uh, calling uh, this function in from this file okay so there is uh, uh, a lot of uh, there is a lot of work we need to uh, define these function in each file and then call them okay and uh, our code is uh, going to huge because there is a lot of functions uh, we need to display them in this file and if there is any any other file we'll, uh, we, uh, we need to def uh, define this function in those file but what if we will define this function globally if we define this function globally we don't need to create this function in every file uh, we just only call these function which are stored in the global file and um, uh, our performance is also good and uh, the other thing is we need to a code very less and when we are going to debug any function it's uh, quite simple okay let's cut these function from there and add a global file okay we are inside the public js and i'm going to create a file which is alerts.js okay and i'm going to paste this uh, everything there and uh, now there is not any function defined there in this file okay let me add this uh, file at the top okay it's a script uh, okay it's scripting mm, yeah we need to add a script there it's a script uh, closing tag uh, script uh, okay add this file mm, i'm going to uh, use asset method okay inside the asset we have a js and inside the js we have a lot of js file we 
edit this file there and now i'm going to create a new file blah 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 it's again going to get this oh now it's also successfully working and if i'm going to uh, uh, comment this file it's not going to work okay it will throw an error that uh, this function is not defined okay let's add this close this and now it says let success is not defined okay because we commented comment out this okay uh, so let's refresh it and test the delete functionality is it uh, working globally uh, from global file okay delete and now delete is successfully working and add is also successfully working everything is good good okay oh, if you want to display only one alert what is the uh, method okay so the method is that uh, you need to go to the js file which is created right now where is the file let me go to the file and you need to replace this append with uh, html okay let's uh, replace uh, both function append to html okay let's save this one and i'm going to delete something it will display the delete pop-up okay delete pop-up is there now i'm going to add this so it will replace the old one okay I think as save changes and now it's replaced the other message it's not going to create two uh, messages for user okay that's good and hopefully you can learn a lot from this tutorial and if you uh, actually want to create uh, crud using ajax by using moodles you can uh, watch my video and this is very helpful i never watch any tutorial on the youtube or similar like this i have created so this is very helpful for you because i uh, created this with real life example i uh, picked uh, up a blog and i implemented this uh, from step by step okay uh, and uh, if you have any further query you can ask me in a comment box and we will see you in the next video thank you for watching if you uh, uh want to support me please uh, like my channel and subscribe it to we'll meet in the next video bye bye